The team whose board we're viewing consists of people living in various cities. They log in to work from their homes or local office branches. If you've ever been a part of this kind of setup, you may know some of the challenges it brings. Miscommunication, lack of insight into the process, determining and settling responsibilities, or general lack of measurable progress, just to name a few. So, how does this distributed team manage their shared workflow in Kanban tool? Each new task gets a team member assignment, not only so that people know what their tasks are, but also to let everyone know whom to contact for information about other parts of the job. This little piece of information saves everyone a lot of time. Assignments, combined with clear outlining of the stages that the tasks go through, help everyone to understand the entire process and appreciate how their work fits in. This aspect of teamwork is often omitted even in co-located collaboration, but for remote teams, it may matter even more so. Lack of direct contact with others can leave people missing out on feedback, both good and bad. Not that anyone ever misses somebody's negative comments, but those often have the biggest impact to how we improve. And, on the other hand, good work needs recognition to keep people motivated. One way the team makes this happen in Kanban tool is using the daily work summary email that sends everyone a list of tasks they've completed and mentions what others were up to. Using comments speeds up communication. Since they're tied to specific tasks, it's clear right away what they refer to. The team has found that frequent and short comments with a conference call just once a week are ideal for keeping everyone up to date. They also stick with the idea of doing an extra call for special occasions like a product release, team or personal achievement, or someone's birthday. It brings them together, despite the actual distance between them. A lot of communication has been made easier with automatic notifications of comments, new assignments, and of specific actions important to this team, made possible via Kanban Tools process automation. For instance, the team leader gets an email when someone has estimated a task will take more than 15 hours, and tasks moved to the monitoring stage automatically get a due date for 10 days later, and so on. The team always tries to split work into smaller tasks and connect them if necessary, just to show their dependency. They work on items made intentionally small, since those are easier to estimate and typically faster to tackle. It allows them to use mostly short-term due dates, especially valuable for remote work. There's hardly anything less motivating than a due date that's weeks away. Everyone is tracking their working time, whether they work full-time or not. That's useful not only to build stats on how efficient different people are, it also helps the team to better plan their day. One of the key reasons the team is using an online Kanban board is limiting the number of apps and aids that people need to follow. Here they have their workflow, messages, calendar, contacts, and documentation all in one place. And what made them choose Kanban tool in particular? Its unique combination of great ease of use with the availability of plenty of advanced features as an option, plus, not forgetting swim lanes, the board's horizontal rows. If you'd like to try the service with your team, feel free to start a trial at KanbanTool.com.